Okay, we're going to use this video to give you uh, an up-close look and overview of this magnificent uh, Black Forest Shelf Cuckoo Clock. And this clock was made by the firm Philip Hassan Son in St. Jorgen in the Black Forest uh, about 1880. And this is a, a really large cuckoo clock. It's just a touch under 30 inches uh, from the base all the way up to the top uh, where the ibex uh, stands on top of the mountain top above the trees. And it's about 20 inches wide across the base. And you can see this whole clock is carved in full relief. Uh, everything uh, sticks totally out. It's hard to capture uh, the quality of this carving in a video and in pictures, uh, but we'll do our best to, to give you an overview of it here. Uh, you can see the motif. It starts out on the bottom on a rocky hill. You have flowers that are, that are draping down, and you can see the, the level of detail uh, in these flowers. Everything's cut away. You can see the roots. Same thing here. Uh, everything's cut in full relief. Uh, you can see there's light that can be viewed behind it. And as you get up on the top of the, uh, the rocky base, you have this baby ibex here at the base of the tree. Uh, also in full relief. And the detail there is just fantastic. Uh, you go a little higher up, you have some grasses, some ferns. And then you have another ibex here, also in full relief. Uh, sitting on this rocky ledge. And there's a nice carved bell around his neck. And below uh, the rocky ledge, kind of in the, the flat base area here in the case, you have this beautiful Black Forest Chateau mountain house. And you can see the details just fantastic. It has uh, real glass windows, has a thatched roof. And it's just a very unusual uh, example. We have another wall model, Cuckoo Quail, that has this very similar uh, motif with ibexes and the, uh, the house within the trees. As you go further up the case, you can see you have two pine trees on either side. Uh, also, everything's full relief. All these branches stick out. the other one there and then all the way on the top of the case you have this full relief standing ibex and the detail is just fantastic in this clock uh, it's really a sculpture where the uh, the dial and the cuckoo uh, is separate this clock retains original bone hands I'll repeat these are not modern recarves but these are original uh, detail carved bone hands, and you can look at the detail there. Uh, they're just magnificent. This is a plumpwood cuckoo bird. And the bird sits on a wood perch, uh, true to the age of the piece. Uh, even the side is carved. We'll kind of come around here so you can see uh, the rocks continue. And you see, although the case has a pitched roof, the whole carved front piece uh, is a solid piece of wood. There's no pediment, there's no gable, no separate attached carving on the top. Uh, from the bottom all the way to the top, that uh, upper shield uh, type piece uh, is a solid piece of wood. You see the rocks continue there on the other side. Uh, we're going to do another video that shows you uh, the inside of the clock, the movement. But this is an eight-day clock, and it uses a fusee uh, to counterbalance the springs. And a fusee eight-day cuckoo clock is the highest quality uh, cuckoo clock uh, movement that, that was made in the Black Forest. So this is really just a top-shelf, heavily carved a large black horse cuckoo clock with a fantastic motif. We're always looking to add uh, unusual cuckoo clocks to our collection. 
We also have clients worldwide that are looking for clocks. And so if you have a piece uh, that's exquisite, uh, please contact us through our website, which is blackforestclocks.org. And likewise, if you're looking for a exquisite Black Forest Cuckoo Clock, uh, we specialize in locating the best examples 